Let's talk about the idea of graphs where a picture is worth a thousand numbers. And one of the things we know in these times that a picture is not necessarily an accurate representation of something because those pictures can be doctored after the fact on a computer. Well, graphs might not be an accurate depiction of something, not because the person is deliberately falsifying the information, but let's say we're comparing the heights of two buildings. One is 100 feet tall and one is 110 feet tall. Well, to do an accurate graph, we would have to have a scale that goes from 0 to 110, and we'd say, here's the 100-foot building, and here's the 110-foot building, and that would be an accurate representation of how they look relative to each other. One of them is 10% higher than the other, isn't it? But sometimes, in order to save space, or to try to make the figures look the way we want them to look, if I had the 110-foot building and I wanted to brag, I might say, let's just compare these buildings. I'm going to draw a graph, and here's 80, 100, no, 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 I, I need to do it more than that. I need to say, here's, here's 90, a uh, hundred, a hundred ten, okay? I say, here's this other guy's building at a hundred feet, and here's my building at a hundred ten feet. And now we have the tallest building in town. And everybody looks at that and says, wow, that is a lot taller than that building, isn't it? Because now the way I've drawn it, even though the numbers are accurate, it looks like this building is only two-thirds as tall as that one, doesn't it? Because this line is only two-thirds as tall as that one. And the reason for that distortion is because I did not start at zero. Now, if someone needs to do this for the sake of space or to just show the differences, then a more honest approach would be to do something like this, to say we're missing everything down to zero. Because we're only showing you the top piece of the graph. Because if we drew the whole thing 100 feet tall, you could hardly see the difference. Okay, So this is a more honest way to do it. So whenever we draw a graph, we always want to start our vertical scale at zero. Then we want to make sure we draw it to scale. Let's say we had sales in 2008 of $40,000 and in 2007 of $35,000. Now, we want to start at zero. If we have time, we always want to put it on the horizontal early to late. So I'm going to say here's 2007, here's 2008. Think timeline. And then we start at zero and we have to make sure we draw this to scale. We can't just say here's 35,000 and here's 40,000. Because if this represents 35,000, then that same distance has to represent another 35,000. Think of a map Usually there's a scale of miles somewhere, doesn't it, that says one inch equals 32 miles. Well, that has to be the same everywhere or that map's not drawn to scale. So it really doesn't matter whether we go by fives or by tens or by twenties as long as every twenty is the same distance apart or every five is the same distance apart. So I'm going to go by tens. I'm going to say here's 10,000 and that same distance would be another ten and that same distance would be another 10, and that same distance would be another 10. It doesn't matter what I use as my scale as long as it's accurate, as long as 10,000 here is the same distance as 10,000 up there. And now if I'm going to graph these two points, in 2007, 20,000, 30,000, 
we'd be halfway between 30 and 40. And in 2008, we'd be right at 40,000. Now, let's talk about two different types of graphs. If we were drawing a line graph, a line graph would mean we draw these points and then we connect them with a straight line. If there were more points, you've seen these things regarding stock prices and that sort of thing or the economy. A line graph is valuable because it shows us a trend. It shows us what's happening over time. This went up, then it went down, that sort of thing. Now these two points aren't on the graph. But a line graph is simply putting the two points and then connecting them. A bar graph, a bar graph would be drawing a little rectangle that is as tall as that point. Okay. So we could represent that thing with either a line graph or a bar graph, and it just depends on what the directions say. If they say line graph, plot the points, connect them with straight lines. If they say bar graph, plot the points, draw rectangles underneath them. <laughs>